The Peripheral is an American science fiction streaming TV show that was created and made by Scott Smith, who was also the show's executive producer. It was created by Amazon and is based primarily on William Gibson's 2014 novel of the same name. The Peripheral's first season has just finished on Prime Video, but executive producers Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy are eager to make more of their sci-fi thriller. The series follows pro-gamer Flynn Fisher, Chloe Grace Moritz, as she is drawn into a world of espionage after playing what she thinks is a simple simulation, in reality. It's a terrifying glimpse into our very real future. Despite being a slow burn and receiving mixed reviews, the peripheral has amassed a dedicated cult fan base who are demanding a season 2 return. So here's everything you need to know about the peripheral season 2. The Peripheral Season 2 Release Date Amazon has not officially confirmed the show's renewal for a second season. However, fans need not worry, as sources have revealed that the work on a new season is already in the works at the studios. According to reports, the writing staff is developing the Season 2 script. Lisa Joy, the executive producer, has been open about wanting more episodes. I would love to have season 2 and season 3 and all the seasons in the world to explore this amazing novel," she told Radiotimes.com and other press. I know we've already started brainstorming about season 2 in the hopes that we get a season 2, and the world only gets more vast and complicated. Joy added, but the thing that really appeals to me about it is how much deeper we are able to dive into each of the characters' lives, and personal lives and ambitions and motivations. To me, that is where it gets really exciting. Just like the previous season, if the show's announcement is made official in a few weeks, we can assume that the potential release date will take place sometime in late 2023. The Peripheral Season 2 Cast If the Peripheral returns for a second season, it's likely that star Chloe Grace Moritz will reprise her role as Flynn Fisher, with the majority of the supporting cast remaining the same. Gary Carr as Wilf Netherton, Jack Rayner as Burton Fisher and Charlotte Riley as Alita West. We will also see J.J. Field as Lev Zubov, Tnaya Miller as Sharice Newland and Louis Hertham as Corbell Pickett. Katie Leung as Ash, Melinda Page Hamilton as Ella Fisher, and Chris Coy as Jasper Baker. The cast will also include Adeline Horan as Billy and Baker, Julian Moorcook as Oshin and Alex Hernandez as Tommy Constantine. The Peripheral Season 2 Plot The first season of The Peripheral centers on Chloe Grace Moretz's Flynn Fisher, who uses a robotic body to travel into the future, and finds that her world has been turned into a living laboratory for shady agents from 2099 London. The Peripheral Season 1's finale leaves plenty for Season 2 to cover. Season 2 of Peripheral would most likely continue unwrapping the larger story of saving the world. In her 2032 stub timeline, Flynn Fisher must still halt the jackpot, while the Research Institute cannot be allowed to launch its neural implant program in 2099. More specifically, the next chapter of the Peripheral must focus on the Neoprims and their anti-establishment crusade against the three-pronged regime, supported by the RI, CLEPT, and MET. However, if Neoprims obtain Charisse's implant plans, an even darker future may await in Season 2 of The Peripheral. A population falsely manipulated into war is the only outcome more worrisome than a population falsely manipulated into peace. Aside from the original novel, in 2020, Gibson also released Agency, a prequel to The Peripheral, which may explore the plot further. Meanwhile, executive producer Jonathan Nolan is also ready to continue the on-screen journey. I think we've imagined, from the beginning, that this would be a story that grows, bifurcates, splits and doubles down on itself," he also told Collider. There are so many fascinating places to go with a story that contains the idea for the t concept of worlds that are subtly different and slightly changed. As far as adaptations go, this one has such incredible possibilities, in terms of where this story could go, so we very much hope that we'll have an opportunity to keep telling this story.
So that's for today, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell to receive future updates.